on a ship to theirs. Big cuts be a training camp for the Bears. And this one shocked me, at least a little bit, but didn't shock me based on play during this season. During last season, too. Dez Newsome has been cut by the Bears. He's been waived. Newsom was a sixth-round pick from Ryan Pace. Here's a quote from Pro Football Talk. Newsom failed to make the team out of camp last year but signed to the practice squad and wound up appearing in three games during the regular season. He caught two passes for 23 yards and returned six punts for two 75-yarders in those contests. Goodbye, Daz Newsom. I was pretty high on Newsom. I really thought he was going to be good coming out of college. Fast guy, sixth-round pick. I mean, similar to a Darnell Mooney type. Late round could be good. Ryan Pace had a good knack for finding diamonds in the rough. But this one didn't work. And really what sealed his fate, in my opinion, was his performance over these first two preseason games. Daz, catch the football. Hold on to the football. (laughs) Stop fumbling, stop butter-handsing the football. Make the catch. You're a wide receiver. I don't feel bad about this at all. You shouldn't either. He is a dinosaur, an artifact from the old regime, and he had to go. And the Bears have no wide receivers anyway. So this really is telling about who Daz Newsome is as a player and what Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflew saw out of him. Think about that. The Bears have no wide receivers. The Bears' wide receiving core is still one of the worst in football, and yet Daz Newsome is not good enough to be in that fold. What does that tell you about what they thought of Daz Newsome? Think about that. A lot of people hopped on the hype train, including myself. I really thought he would be something Somewhat special. But think about that. The Bears have no wide receivers. They have nothing. And yet, Daz is gone. And they kept Nikhil Harry, a first-round pick bust, whose heart, they kept him around. But cut Noosa. They kept a true bust, a real bust, first-round pick, and cut Daz Noosa. I saw some tweets saying, oh, he's going to latch on to another team. He's going to get a new chance. I'll tell you this much, he's a sixth-round wide receiver. There may not be many second chances for him. It's not like we're talking about a real veteran or even a first-round pick who turned out to be a bust. We're talking about a sixth-round guy, somebody who probably will be lucky if he gets onto a practice squad. Maybe you'll see him in the XFL coming up. I don't know. <laughs> the point is, he's gone. And it's yet another artifact from the Ryan Pace era gone, too. I mean, this whole cut says two things. Number one, Daz isn't good enough to be on the worst wide receiving core in football. And that's telling. But number two, this is another sign that Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus do not agree with Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace and their valuation of talent, which is a good thing to me. I would Ryan Poles, I'd cut everybody who Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace liked. I know that sounds crazy, but seriously, think about the Bulls. When our Turs Karnischewicz came in and Mark Eversley came in, within six months, by the halfway point of their first year, only three players from the old regime, Garpax, were still there. Everybody was cut, gone, traded, cut, released, whatever it is. They were gone, retired, gone, off the team, demoted to the G League. They were gone. What does that say? Well, maybe they did it out of spite, but I think the real indicator is that Garpax had no idea how to evaluate talent, and they drove the Bulls into the ground, resulting in all these cuts and this cleanup by Karnischewicz. Same thing here for the Bears. Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy, for the most part, could not and still can't evaluate talent. And here's proof. Ryan Pace is bringing in so many former Bears to Atlanta. Right, so you're going to bring in more Bears from last year's team and the teams before, which sucked. Put them down in Atlanta and everything's going to be good. Give me a prank. That's stupid. This is just another sign that Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy have no idea how to evaluate talent. I'm not saying Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus too, but I'd rather listen to their opinions because they're newer than Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy, two failures, who have no idea how to lead a good football franchise. They have no clue. I'd rather listen 
or at least consider Eberflus and Pulls and their opinions compared to Nagy and Pace. Nagy and Pace, or at least Pace, loved Daz Newsom. Loved him enough to tank him and loved him enough to stir up a media hype train about him. Because I remember this time last year, including myself, I was a part of the hype train. I really thought he would get significant playing time, he'd make the team, and he'd make strides within the season. I was wrong. We were all wrong. And now look, it's being cut. Just a word of wisdom to all of us out there as we watch more cuts to come. Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy had all of us at times sipping the Kool-Aid about some of these younger players that really are not that good. And maybe Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus will do the same. Maybe next year we'll talk about Nikhil Harry being a real bust. Talk about other players they brought in being real issues. But for right now in this moment, we are being shown more true colors about Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace, believe it or not. No one's talking about this. No one wants to acknowledge it, but it's true. Cutting Daz Newsom from the worst wide receiving core in football tells me more about Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy than Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus. Tells me that their talent evaluation sucked because everyone was high on Daz Newsom. And yes, he's fast. He has some nice qualities, but if you can't catch the football, you're not an NFL wide receiver. You're not even a peewee wide receiver. Catch the damn ball. Hold on to the damn football. Not that hard. Just something to think about. And we'll be watching as more cuts come through, and I'm sure we'll see another couple of significant names on the chopping block. And it just goes to further show. Matt Nagy and Brian Pace had no idea what they were doing. Thanks for watching today's show here at VPod TV and Sports Talk Chicago. Remember, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and set up those notifications so you don't miss a thing. You can also find me everywhere at sportstalkchicago.com. Thanks so much for watching. So long, everyone.